A beautiful finish to the week on this Friday. Sure, it was chilly early this morning, but with all that bright sunshine and a south to southwest wind at about 10 to 15, that pushed our highs into the 60s. Looks like a few clouds in the mix this weekend, but nice overall. As mentioned, the standard time returning as we fall back one hour early Sunday morning. So set those clocks back, get an extra hour of sleep, breezy and warmer with showers heading toward the middle part of next week. Uh, looking beautiful out there right now as the sun uh, starts to go down within the hour. We do have some mid to high level cloudiness across the western part of the Ohio Valley that is drifting eastward. Some of that should be in here during the overnight. Gorgeous shot with our bluegrass pace care. Skyview HD camera network. Richmond EKU, we're at 61. There's your southwest wind up at about 10 to 15. Once the sun goes down, it may back off a bit, but it will still be out of the south and southwest. That combined with the higher clouds moving in should hold our temperatures up a bit. Mainly still into the low 60s. We'll drop off into the 50s after sunset here. Looking good thanks to high pressure sitting over the Carolinas with that return flow. Now this area of low pressure heads to the western Great Lakes and the trailing boundary sneaks down into the Ohio Valley close enough to where we'll see some of the mid to high level debris cloudiness associated with it. So that combined with the south wind as mentioned I think low to mid 40s to start out your Saturday and a pretty decent afternoon. We may actually be a, a touch milder a few degrees sneaking back into the mid 60s. You see how close the boundary is some clouds, maybe a sprinkle during the overnight hours Saturday night into Sunday, but we'll be back into some sunshine and as the warm front arcs to the north and the breezes pick up out ahead of this boundary, we go from 63 on Sunday to 70 on Monday and that will be a prelude of things to come heading toward Election Day. Good news there. You see not a whole lot going on. Few little spotty showers, not a washout. Bulk of the organized rain stays just to our north, closer to that boundary on Wednesday. But eventually the front moves through getting into the day on Thursday. I think that's our best chance of organized showers. And that will also begin to cool us down toward the end of next week. Still could use the rain. We're in the moderate drought up and down the I-75 corridor in the lighter tan and in yellow. That's abnormally dry. We may put a little bit of a dent in it toward the end of next week. 42 overnight. I think outlying areas, especially in southern Kentucky, less cloudiness. You'll fall into the 30s, so not as bad as what we've seen the last couple of mornings. 64 tomorrow, partly sunny skies, a pleasant day. And the extended forecast here, we'll have some wind around Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. You know, in November, if you're going to reach the low 70s, you're going to have to deal with a bit of a breeze. But again, not a washout Tuesday, Wednesday, more organized showers as the front trucks on through. And of course, behind it, we'll see some cooler air drying out and highs only into the low 50s this time next week.